This is Justin Germino from DragonBlogger.com and I'm here talking about the RunMe Fitband. Now the RunMe Fitband is an excellent Fitband for under $40. That also supports GPS with your phone. Though it doesn't have GPS built in, it will leverage the GPS on the phone. Like all Fitbands, it tracks movement in steps by swings of your arm. So it can be a little off when you swing your arm while you're stepping. But the home screen, which I keep doing with the wrist flick, serves you the time on the top as well as the number of steps and it consolidates on the home screen. You can see there's a little circle at the bottom here which indicates your back button which basically takes you back to the main menu. And you can see the time, date laid out here, how much battery is remaining. And again, I've been wearing this thing for five days straight, and it's still at 50% battery. And you can see it's connected to the, to the phone right there. Now, uh, the one thing is tapping it doesn't wake it, wake it up. You have to actually slide to wake it up and go through the menus. And some, that was something that uh, took me to get used to. So the heartbeats per minute is, is fairly accurate. As long as it's not too close to your wrist, it's um, more accurate than most fitness bands that I've tested. I've actually tested it, and I'll show you the picture. I've tested it with a medical grade um, pulse ox and BPM monitor on the fingertip, and it works perfectly. It's very, very flawless. It was only within three beats per minute off. Um, it takes a little while to get accurate. You probably start the heartbeat monitor and then leave it for a good 20 seconds, and then it'll constantly read and get more accurate in real time. You keep tapping to go through the various menu options, like your steps, which tracks your steps, and then of course your calories, your mileage that you walked. Um, you have your timer set to go through your other menu options. Let's see here. It does have a, it's a little finicky with its, my hands are a little sweaty, so it's a little finicky if your hands are even moist or sweaty. You got your various training modes, and you've got your breathing techniques, which actually tells you when to take deep breaths, and it, it helps you with, with breathing exercises. You can read your messages. You can get SMS notifications, all sorts of messages that read on this display screen, which work well. You get your um, weather as well pattern, which as well. Here's the thing I haven't been able to figure out yet. The weather is listed in Celsius. I can't get to switch to Fahrenheit. I've tried everything I can think of. Um, here in the U.S., obviously, we use Fahrenheit more than Celsius, so I couldn't get it to convert to where it's using Fahrenheit for the measurement. So for that, um, I'll try to figure out in a future uh, video perhaps. Then of course you got your more options here, which is your menu options. Now it does have only a five second delay on the wrist twist, which is a little annoying, but it's what keeps battery life on. You could shut it so, you could set so wrist twist, when you twist your wrist it doesn't come on, but there's no way to increase it to where it stays on longer. So you gotta be, you have to kinda like move quickly or else it shuts off before you finish doing what you're doing. So other than that, I like the larger style screen and I accidentally dropped it off of a patio table and it cracked um, at the top here, which was unfortunate while I was doing a review. But it's an excellent, excellent Fitbit. The fact that it lasts about seven to nine days battery on a single charge, again, I'm, I'm five days in and it's only halfway lost its battery. It's an excellent battery. It's as accurate as any Fitbit to track steps at swinging. It doesn't have GPS built in, so it's not perfectly accurate. Um, as far as tracking steps based off a of GPS, but it does sync to the GPS on the phone and shows you your route when you walk and stuff like that. You know why I like the Rummy Fit Band so much is if you look at the band style, this is like a traditional watch band style. It's got a thicker flat strap and it's got the typical watch loop where you go through here and you loop it and ring it and it stays nice and tight. It's comfortable to wear for hours. It doesn't feel that cheap even though it is silicon. Um, this is among the better watch styles. I don't like the snap-on styles. I'll just show you one comparison, like these snap-on style watches. I don't like these little snap button ones. They tend to fall off or these snaps tend to break. So I really like the watch style and the band style. To charge the Rummy is even easier. Unlike having ones that have a clamp, which I hate, you simply pop it out of the band and you can see it plugs in the USB just like that. Pop in the USB, takes only less than a half an hour charge. You get, you get seven to eight days out of a half an hour charge. Excellent, excellent fit band. This is again the Rummy. Um, Fitband and it's just around thirty dollars, which is well worth it if you need a, a budget Fitband that you can use to track your steps, keep track of the time, and has a nice large interface. It's actually pretty visible in daylight too. Although, like all Fitbands, they get a lot of glare and they get faded and they're hard to see in daylight. But this one, because of the large style buttons and the white on black, it's a little easier to see in daylight than some of the other Fitbands. I noticed the ones with the green colored letters and numbers; those are almost completely invisible and can't be seen in daylight. Thank you for watching.